If you use Mozilla Firefox to browse the web, you noticed in the past two weeks that one of the automatic updates is now version 29, and it is a little bit different than all of the previous versions of Firefox. In fact, here is Mozilla Firefox 29. Here is Google Chrome. If I go back and forth, Firefox, Chrome, Firefox, Chrome, Firefox has copied the Google Chrome browser quite extensively. However, with just a few little tweaks, you can make Firefox look the way you want it to look, and it is still probably the most customizable browser available today. So first off, they have created a little menu way off over to the right. It used to have a Firefox menu in the upper left. Now they've got this little three horizontal bars, which I actually heard referred to as the hamburger menu. But if you click this, this gives you the new Firefox menu. And within that menu, you can get to the Customize button. And we're going to start there. So we're going to click the little menu on the right, then click Customize. And you're going to get a new customization tool that allows you to add toolbars and add and subtract buttons from the toolbars. So first of all, you might want the title bar. So if I click the title bar, I get my familiar title bar at the top of the screen. Next, you can click the Show Hide Toolbars. You can turn the menu bar back on, so you get your familiar file edit view. And then you can click it again and turn your Bookmarks Toolbar on if you happen to use the Bookmarks Toolbar. So I'm going to click Exit Customize to see what we've done so far. So we've added the menu, we've added the title bar, and we've put our Bookmarks Toolbar back on. And we did all that from the menu at the right under Customize. Now here are some additional buttons that are not available currently on my toolbar. If I want to put the Print button up there, I just click it and I can drag it anywhere I want on the toolbar. And when I drop it, I have it back up on the toolbar. If I don't want a particular tool from the toolbar, just click it while you're in this customized view and drag it back into this group. A new feature of the Firefox is customizing this menu that does come up when you click the three horizontal bars. It comes with a default set of tools that you can move around. I can move the zoom towards the bottom, move it back to the top, move the cut, copy, and paste, or we can also move these tools out onto our browser window. So I put the cut, copy, and paste up here in the title bar or the menu bar. I can move it down here along with the tabs. I can put it on the regular toolbar. So you can click and drag these tools just as well. You can also put some of the tools that are used to be up on your main screen, like for example the print, and I can move it over and put it in this toolbox as well. So you can customize this toolbox, you can customize these toolbars all from going to menu and customize. When you're finished, just click Exit Customize and you're back to Firefox. The bookmarks have changed just a little bit as well. The little star to create the bookmark used to be in the address bar. Now it's moved over to the right. To create a bookmark, I just click it and it adds to the bookmarks, which now looks like a little clipboard. If I click the bookmark again, I get the familiar bookmark editing. I can add tags and keywords in the bookmark editing menu. To access bookmarks, if you don't have your bookmarks toolbar, you now have this little icon here on the right hand side to pull up your bookmarks. If you still like to have the sidebar, you have that option. Click the view bookmark sidebar and you've got it over here on the left hand side. So although changed and although chromified, Firefox still offers many of the same features that you know and love and you can get to all those features using the three horizontal bar menu on the right hand side of the new version of Mozilla Firefox.